Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to my YouTube video channel. I'm going to present to you guys another presentation on this, um, how to improve a dull unusual smile. Uh, this is a very tricky case. The patient uh, presented with this smile right here. And uh, see, you can you can see that her smile is not a typical smile. Her, so she have a very hypotonic um, lip, mean that her lip is really um, soft, but it's really uh, consider um, more volume than her mouth and. Uh, but the problem with her TV is she cannot smile. What the underlying problem here? How do we accomplish her smile from this to this? Uh, so this is before and this is after. Uh, what do we have to do? Um, her case uh, actually kind of interesting and difficult to uh, see what's going on. But you can see here, that the upper art is very does have very minor problem. Uh, number seven is uh, measly facially rotate. Number A and I uh, also number A is uh, facially uh, 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 protruded, and number ten is a little bit measly facially rotation. And overall, the art is fairly good shape. Um, the bottom tooth have number twenty six. 20, 25 measly facially protruded. The number um, 29 uh, is uh, uh, not at, uh, seem to be lingually written in Clay. And uh, so it case not difficult, but when you look at the uh, straight shot, what you are seeing right now is the, uh, the slandering smile from one side, as you can see that slightly deep by, as you see this front teeth here, little flare out. And also they have a flare out teeth situation. And so the number nine seems to be longer than number eight. And then number 10 seems to be longer than number, incisively longer than number seven. So everything starts shipped into one side. And that's why when she smile, it's kind of strained. Also, you, when you look at this um, uh, open by here, you can see that, uh, as I mentioned, number 25 is uh, super erupted. And this is uh, uh, also another uh, minor condition that is causing the, uh, the pie is not perfectly aligned. So, um, once we, I want to go back to, you can see, this is how is his smile. And this is how we get it. <clears throat> what do we have to do? We straight her teeth out. Uh, basically, we uh, create the maximum torch of the incisor on the upper and lower. And so her teeth have very nice um, uh, expression, maximum expression. And this is the result of the, uh, treatment done within about a year and a half to two years, written straight, even though the K could be done faster, but we took some time to make sure that all those are teeth are upright, straight. And so let me just compare the result. This is before, and this is after, as you can see, the art is more uh, rounded and ovoid shape compared to this taper shape here. And uh, this is the bottom. You can see how um, the narrow shape now is more broader shape, round. And this is why her, uh, this, this is what we call maximum expression of the root tort. And this is where you can see that this is before how slender and on the one side. And this is how after it's really straight. Um, here you don't see much the change because but what you see you noted that that I increase the um, the expression of the bottom teeth so you can see the lesser deep by the distance from here to here 
uh, the incisor of the upper to the cervical portion of this, uh, of the incisor, you can see on the bottom is a lot longer. So the distance from the upper incisor to the cervical of the lower teeth are a lot longer. This is the, the result from reducing the, the deep bite you know, on both sides, and therefore her smile is a lot better. So this is um, the transition of her smile after we take out her teeth. She's able to smile um, a little bit more easier for her to, to show her teeth. Um, so this is before, this is right after uh, brackets removed, this is like a year and, and a half later. You can see that uh, her natural smile now is a lot better than this one. So anyway, this is not a typical orthodontist case, but if you do um, uh, study uh, the K and then the, 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 figure out why patient doesn't have the proper smile, then the intraoral photo and extra oral photo is a very important to evaluate and to see the problem. So this K is not an easy K when you, when if you just clinically evaluate without taking uh, in consideration in detail, uh, go home and evaluate the patient uh, teeth from uh, intraoral standpoint, occlusal standpoint, open by standpoint, then you cannot um, figure out what's wrong. So again, I want to just go back to show you that, you know, uh, this case is uh, very, uh, very difficult when you uh, don't see the major uh, challenge but is when when it's, when you when you see it's minor it's actually harder uh, so to identify the problem you take picture and evaluate for yourself to figure out what are the minor issues that cause a problem so we accomplished the narrow art which make it broader on the upper broader on the lower uh, and uh, and correct the occlusal uh, plan on top and bottom as you can see I mentioned to you uh, and this view, this is before, and this is after. This is this is before narrow art, and this is broader art. And that how you can get the maximum expression of the patient teeth. This is before, and this is after smile. I want to um, thank you for my patient allowing me to share this video, and uh, in this case, so people can learn and use your um, skill. Uh, wisely. Thank you for watching you guys. Uh, I hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you another video. Thank you again and have a great day. Bye bye.